Live from Asbury Park, New Jersey, this is LHTV with your hosts, Andy Letke and Ben Marino. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome back, everybody 11, in the world. Number 11. Number 11. What's up? My name's Ben. I am not Ben. I am Andy. All right. And we are your hosts for this week's episode and every episode of LHTV. LHTV. You're at Lake House Music Academy. But we got so many fun things planned for you tonight. We have bands. We have live music. We got special performers. What else do we have going Dude, on? Dude, we had a great time last time. I got to jam with this guy over here. Truck in. It was awesome. But first, everybody... Guess who? Mr. John Leaders. Hello, everyone. Hello, Lake House music family. In tonight's episode, we're going to take a look back at some of the music history that happened on this day. It's fun to see how Asbury Park has always been part of that story, and it really is a hotbed for music. So much magic happened right here. As I was watching last week's episode and while walking through the building this week, I had such a strong impression about how you continue to practice and create and how we're all connected to this bigger music scene by the power of music. So much goes on here every week and your efforts give back in a big way to this community. You're part of this history now and you have your own story to tell. Thanks for that. Back to you, Ben and Andy. Johnny. Johnny. Thank you so much. Yes. Back to you, John. Back to you, John. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, no. Big time, big day, things going on. We Today's got a king, a we got day. a queen. Who was it? Who was it? Man, Tell us. It was a big day in music history. 1977, the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, passed away. Mm -hmm. And just two years ago, the, the queen of soul, mm -hmm. Aretha Franklin, passed as well. She's the best. She's the best. And we got to listen to that one album of hers. I know. We're I've been listening to. to her, putting on repeat. Yeah. We're going to do, actually, we're going to do something later that's very special. What? We're going to play an honor and tribute to Aretha Franklin wow. live in the studio here at Lake House Can Studios. I join you? Yeah, dude. <laughs> that sounds sweet. I'm going to get some other buddies on the horn. First, dude, let's get into some rock and roll. Let's get into some rock and roll. Oh, yeah, we got my man Tommy. He's going to lead these guys. And the band name is Whiskey, Whiskey Thursday. Thursday. Oh, 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 oh,
Christmas day. <laughs> nice job, Jess. That was awesome. You guys are all purple. Yeah. I don't yeah, know how they did that. Uh, I think I know. They probably held their breath for a really long time. Yeah, let's no, just go with guys, that. Guys, that was super sweet. Nice job. Ben. Yes. We're sitting here. We're in Asbury Park. We're at Lake House Studio North right now. It's an immaculate place. But you can take lessons with us from anywhere around the world. We got people from Arizona. We got people from all the way over in Germany taking lessons wow. with us. Right? That's amazing, Shout out to Germany. Dude. Yeah. It's awesome. And guys, our fall semester is filling up, so make sure to give us a call. But first, we have another band. Yeah, let's do that. Band number two out of many tonight. And also a special tribute coming up. What? But yeah. led by their instructor, James Kivlin. He's the man. You've seen him, Banjo Guy. There's actually t-shirts of him now. Oh my gosh, we have t-shirts? That's incredible. Yeah. So anyway, here we have it. Give it up for On, On Point. Point.
I'm I was, pointing. I was really impressed with that, man. Those guys. Why were you impressed? Well, I don't know. Rachel was incredible with her vocals. Anthony. Sounded a little better than that, Anthony. Not going to lie. Man, Raven, piano. That was really cool. And last but not least, Luke. Crushing that bass, man. That sounded super cool. You guys did a great job. Yeah. Oh, James. I have a funny thing to, to share about James. Um, James is their teacher. Yeah. And he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy, but very recently, uh, one of one of his uh, fellow Lake House members, uh, Sandy Prevatera, made some LHTV t shirts. Look at this. And on the back, she loved James so much during his soundboard segment that she made a shirt. It says, cool guitar, dude. Why don't you get a real Gibson? Whoa. That's hilarious. You know what else is funny? Nope. I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. It's a segment that we love, and it is called Discord. Discord. How many admins does it take to change a light bulb? Three. Two to find out if it needs changing, and one to tell an employee to change it. Patches. We named the printer Bob Marley. He's always jamming. Everyone's been writing names on the food in the office fridge. Yesterday, I ate a yogurt named Susan. Our computers went down at work today, so we had to do everything manually. It took me 20 minutes to shuffle the cards for solitaire. <laughs> How do you find out what kind of car your manager drives? Wait in the parking lot at 4.59. <laughs> My boss reminds me of a software update. Whenever I see him, I think, not now. <laughs> and we're back. That was hilarious, Jordan I still and Caitlin. Think it's funny. I know, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh. We're gonna do something really cool in a little bit. I think we're gonna start moving our way over into the studio in just a moment. But first we gotta have a band play for We us. got another band. Tell us Despite about a band. their name, these guys are great friends and their video sounds amazing, looks amazing. They're here at Lake House at their rehearsal. And led by their instructor, Kyle Ward, here we have Dysfunctional, Dysfunctional Family! Let's just take off again instead Got my degree in the gut of my heart Broken in the dorms of the Ivy
Oh, dysfunctional, dysfunctional family. family. There's nothing yeah. dysfunctional about them. They, they sounded were, tight. They know exactly what they're doing. Kyle, the teacher, brought his recording interface and computer into class one day with microphones, mic'd up the drums, mic'd up everything. That was the amazing result. Sounds so good. But Andy, something, something happened on this day 43 years ago. That is the truth, Ben. It was 1977. There was this guy named Elvis Presley. He had an amazing career, and then it ended, unfortunately. But there's a lot of people who think that it didn't even happen. He didn't even die, and he's still running around and stuff. That's what's going on. We don't know. He might even be hanging out with Hosquatch. This unfortunate insta instance, and we have actually have uh, counselors coming in to help with grief counseling for the staff so that they help them get through this. Um, we will take other questions. Yeah, I think we have time. time for a few questions if anybody has any. Excuse me, do you know how Hasquatch escaped? We, the team is investigating that now. Uh, our primary concern in the moment was to care for the animal, get him secured, and then get him uh, the other animals cared for. So part of the reason we remained closed today was so we could get in and, and investigate every aspect of it. Is the enclosure new? No, it is not a new enclosure. Has this ever happened before? Uh, nothing like this incident has ever happened with us before, no. There was a, um, a Jaguar you know, 15 years ago, maybe, um, put back in the enclosure um, pretty quickly. In the history of Audubon, at least the last, last 50 years, We've not had any incident of this, but this is by far the biggest incident we've had, the biggest magnitude, the biggest tragedy we've had. Did anyone yell free bird or noodle on a guitar? I don't think so. I mean, I don't, I don't, know. I don't think that's actually took place. We will get back to you as soon as we can and message completely. So thank you for coming and we'll share that information with you later. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Guys, on this day, we've been saying it, August 16th is a special day in music history. Another thing that's really cool is we have some Bruce facts. So, Bruce played his very first gig with his new band called Earth on this day. There is a gentleman named Tom Cunningham who has a show called Springsteen on Sunday on 107.1. He's going to tell us a little something about it. Well, today is the anniversary of Bruce Springsteen debuting his band, Earth. This was a power trio in 1968, followed on the heels of the disbanding of the Castiles, uh, which was a very rigid, very uh, strict band. They wore uniforms, for crying out loud. Um, Earth, I'm guessing, was not that. Uh, power trio, Obviously, Cream, very big at that time. The Jimi Hendrix experience. Uh, Bruce really coming into his own as a guitarist then. And who better to emulate than Eric Clapton or Jimi Hendrix? Uh, this was a band that did not last very long. They started August of 68, ended in February 69, but proved to be a very perfect transitional period, uh, both musically and artistically, for what Bruce had going on. And interestingly enough, in 68, he really began to hone his chops as a singer-songwriter. At the same time Earth was around, he was playing solo acoustic songs, uh, a lot of times in Red Bank, at the same place that uh, they debuted the band Earth. So a lot going on musically then. Um, you know, a year later in 69, he would find upstage. He would walk up those stairs on Cookman Avenue and that changed the, the whole thing. Uh, met up with Vinny Lopez, Danny Federici, and then the, the band Child started. They, they changed the name to Steel Mill, which is one of the all-time legendary bands here at the Shore for a billion reasons. Um, you know, little Vinny Roslin came, played bass. Eventually, Stevie Van Zandt took that slot. And um, they were a monumental band and really, really got Bruce's career as an artist uh, started. Tom, thank you so much. You got to yes. catch his show, 9 a.m. every Sunday morning, 107.1.
the be boss. with him, man. Yes. Be with him. Listen to those awesome stories. Andy. Yo, yo. We have more music. Oh, let's do this. All right. Here we go. Band number four of the night, <gasps> led by their instructor, Brandon. These kids are adorable, oh and they rock. Yes. So here we have Ice Ice, Ice Explosion. Explosion. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Andy. I'm so excited to announce our next group, Ice Ice Explosion. We've got Jules on keys, Alex on drums, and Shy and Dylan on vocals performing Dance Monkey by The Tones and I. Enjoy. Shoes on. I already had my dancing shoes on. And this guy's always ready. Up. Lake House World. These comments are awesome. They're hilarious. Keep you guys are coming. supporting everyone. Wait a second. I do believe Sherry's bringing in against your mom. Yeah, mom. She's good. I'll think about it. I'll think about oh, it. Yeah. Wait. I think that's cool. Andy. Yeah. Cease is totally writing in. Oh, oh, yeah. She wants to jam, too. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. This could be so cool. Are we going to maybe... In, I would love that. Maybe we do like a mother-son jam session. Yeah, man. Come on, you guys. Down the road. But first... Let's do that. Check out LHTV News. I'm Desiree Spinks with your LHTV Music News. 
This week, Lake House Music Academy's 10 o'clock jazz band performed at Springwood Park in Asbury Park. Here's a clip. They're happy with eyes, I cry. Tell me how can I go on do without you? You took the part that was was my heart, so why not take all of me? On this day in music history, in 1977, the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, died on the throne at his home in Memphis, Tennessee. And in 2018, Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, passed away. We here at LHTV News have nothing but respect and appreciation for her contributions to all the great voices of modern times. Aretha, I say a little prayer for you. For LHTV News, I'm Desiree Spinks. Every morning I wake up, before I put on my makeup, I say a little prayer for you. And I'm combing my hair now, and I'm wondering what dress to wear now. I say a little prayer for you. Mm, awesome. And then let me just put this down really quick. <clears throat> and... Hi, I'm Raphael Clayman, and I'd like to play for you today one of my favorite pieces by Bach. It's called Adagio in G minor. And we're back. Oh, yeah. Hello, back for some more LHTV. I like this stuff, yeah, man. This is so fun. <laughs> this is so cool. World, remember, you can do all the things you're seeing here tonight from the comfort of your own home on your cell phone. That's incredible. Yeah. I suggest let's get right to some music. All righty. Yes. <gasps> next band, we got Mr. K coming up. And the band's name is Gray Chabani. Thank you. 
That was killer. Angie, great vocals. Nice. Javier, I know that was you. I know you didn't show your face. That was you. Oh. And Jaden crushing the bongos. Oh. He's got good ears. He knows when wow. to hear that stuff. Hey, I want to tell them something. Please. So we had a sweet vocal camp last week. Desiree was the teacher. They did awesome warm-up stuff, style things, and how to be amazing on stage. But the cool thing is they put a performance together for you to check out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Vocal Camp! Thanks, Ben and Andy, and thank you so much for having me. What a fun show! Well, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to bring to you the vocal stylings of my vocal camp group. That includes the talents of Mel, Leo, Lillian, Sydney, Amalia, and Lauren. And they'll be singing for you today, John Legend's All of Me. Enjoy.
Local Cam. Nice. Love that. Andy, that, that was, their blend was great. Good so, song choice. Good song choice. It's almost as if good they were singing together for six hours a day, five days in a week. Phew, they were. They were doing that at camp. Oh. Oh. Wow. You know what? They'd be perfect in Kiki's vocal core. Kiki's vocal core? Yeah, they should That's sign up for that That's a great idea. That's on Sundays. Sundays. Come on in. Speaking of Kiki... Holy cow, I think she's on her way right now, and she's going to sing a little for you later. Kicking the boom boom. Yeah. Up next, our last band of the night before the very special performance. This band just performed last Monday night at Springwood Park. You heard about it in the LHTV news, and here they are for you tonight with a special performance of a song called Billy's Bounce. Their teacher's name is Joel, and he's going to give them an amazing intro. Give it up for the 10 10 o'clock jazz band. Hey, thanks, fellas. Uh, today we're going to be doing Billy's Bounce. It's a real popular blues by Charlie Parker. We got Carlotta on guitar, Crosby on guitar. We got Jaron on keyboards. We got Connor on drums. You're truly on bass. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> That was so good. I love that song. I think I played that for my college audition. Oh, no kidding. But, world, I want to give a special shout out to a very special Lake House student, Ryan Volby Doc. He's in the band Sigma. Mm -hmm. They performed on last week's episode of LHTV. Go check it out. But there was a typo in our credits, and his name was left out. So, Ryan, thank you for all you do, man. Shout out. Ryan a man. Ben, Ben, Ben. Andy. Guess what? What? Coming right through those window doors, right over there. I can see through them. Are some people showing yeah. up? We're gonna have a sweet band playing. Miss Kiki Khadija Mohammed is gonna be the singer. She's gonna go holy cow with her voice. And then not only that, we got Mr. Richie Nobrega on the guitar strings. And then we also have Mr. Rob Tanaka who's gonna play. Oh, awesome on the bass, but he's not left-handed. But I got the microphone in this hand. It doesn't even matter. And then we got Mr. Ben Whoa. Marino gonna play some d roms for you andy like he's gonna be playing the keys tickling the ivories it's all true yeah and the band is going to be called kiki, kiki and the boom booms Boom. 
Hi, Lake House. My name is Sarah Abdelberry. I'm actually a Lake House alumni. Me and my sister started in 2014. We were actually one of Lake House's first students. So I have my own music solo project called Teen Idol. You can check that out. And yeah. It wasn't until my last year of college, actually, that I realized, you know, this is actually what I want to do. And my last year of college, I got like so serious about songwriting and I was kind of like, oh, you know, this is something I feel like I'm getting better at and I really enjoy it. So let's, let's keep writing more. I used to be such a perfectionist and I would come into, I used to take guitar lessons with Ray and Mike and I would come into the lessons and I would be so nervous to mess something up and they were always encouraging me to just like solo over a scale that I didn't know. And they told me it doesn't have to be perfect, just do it. And so that mindset has kind of followed me. The most important thing is don't write songs for other people. Write about things that mean something to you and write a song that you would want to listen to. Like who cares what other people think? It's your song. If you guys want to check out my music, my band is called Teen Idol. I released two singles so far, and my debut EP is coming out June 18th, so if you want, just check that out. And thanks, John, for asking me to be a part of this. Looking out on the morning rain I used to feel so uninspired And when I knew I had to face another day Lord, it made me feel so tired Before the day I met you Life was so unkind You're the key to my peace of mind Cause you make me feel You make me feel You make me feel like a natural woman When my soul was in the lost and found you came along to claim me. I didn't know just what was wrong with me till your kiss helped me name it. Now I'm no longer doubtful what I'm living for. And if I make you happy, I don't need to do
natural woman. There you go, five and a half some steps and you got it. you about wrestling with writer's block. If you want to work on some new ideas or get some new inspiration, a great way to do this is to collab. Today, I'm going to collab with a very good friend of mine. It's Genevieve here. Today, we are going to be writing a jazz Alien song. No, we're not. On the show. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. No. We're all aliens. <laughs> on on August sixteenth, sixteenth, nineteen sixty nine, um, a few weeks after man landed on the moon, about a half million music fans gathered in, 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 at Woodstock outside over three days, you know, three days of love, peace, and happiness. And it was huge. Not, er not every uh, band played Woodstock. The Beatles didn't play Woodstock. The Rolling Stones didn't play Woodstock. Nor did Led Zeppelin play Woodstock. Led Zeppelin didn't play Woodstock because they played that convention hall behind me here. Uh, two shows on August 16th, 1969, Two shows, 7.30 and 10 o'clock. Why, why did not Led Zeppelin play Woodstock? They were asked to play Woodstock. How come they didn't play? Peter Grant, according to band members uh, late, later on, said they didn't play it because they didn't want to be uh, typecast. They didn't want to be typecast as a Woodstock band. And uh, so, so in honor of Led Zeppelin's famous two show, one night stand here at Convention Hall, in Asbury Park, a big moment in Asbury Park rock and roll history and rock and roll legacy and music history and music legacy. That's a big build up there, but you know, here is Kiki and the Boom Booms playing Led Zeppelin's rock and roll.
Whoa. We made it. We're number 11 in Episode the books. 11 in the 11. books. I'm sweating. He's sweating. Dude. Thank you to all the Lake House bands that were part of tonight's show. You guys rocked. Thank you, Ben's mom, for having a birthday this week. Love Happy you, birthday, babe. mom. Oh, yeah. Oh. And yes. Kiki and the Boom Booms. Boom. Boom. Thank house. you guys for performing. We got Richie, Jeez. Rob on bass. He had to run. He's out. And last come but not on, least, Kiki. Kiki. Oh, come man, on out here. so good. Thank you, everyone. Richie, come on in. Thank you guys. Have an amazing week. Join, Join a, a band. band. Come on, Peace. be with us. Adios. <laughs> 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 yeah. And you.